The Marine Combatant Diver Course is located at the Naval Diving and Salvage Training Center, Panama City, Florida. This location provides an excellent coastal training environment for teaching amphibious skills. The Marine Combatant Diver Course trains Marines and Navy corpsmen in the skills required to support clandestine maneuver, underwater reconnaissance, and amphibious reconnaissance. The Marine Combatant Diver Course is 35 training days and covers basic and advanced diving techniques. This course focuses on functioning effectively as a dive team member in support of Marine Reconnaissance and Special Operations missions, where the environment is shallow water or in coastal areas. Students attending this course face tough physical and mental challenges. Approximately 292 hours are spent in the classroom and conducting individual after-hours study. The technical training is an added challenge. The equipment used by Marine combatant divers is specialized and suited for a specific purpose. The purpose of the specialized equipment is to enable the clandestine maneuver of Marine combatant divers. 146 hours are spent training students on how to conduct mission preparation, maintenance, and how to successfully operate mission essential equipment. The tools of a combatant diver are underwater breathing apparatus, life preserver, propulsion device, mission essential equipment, fins, mask, gloves, knife, weight belt, depth gauge, compass, and watch. More than half of the practical application exercises and testing are conducted in the training tank or open water environment. Operating in an amphibious environment without question is one of the major challenges. Ocean and intercoastal currents, temperatures, and the distance a marine must travel all place stress on the individual and team during exercises and operations. In a single 35-day course, a student will swim approximately 64,000 kilometers as an individual and a team member. A marine combatant diver must be smart and able to adapt to an ever-changing environment. He must understand environmental physics and medicine as it relates to a military diver. Most of this is taught in the classroom and is reinforced in field exercises. Out of the water! During open ocean training, a diver must constantly assess many environmental and operational factors to achieve success. Underwater and surface navigation must become second nature. The proper operation of specialized equipment is critical to surviving in this environment and the combatant diver is trained to have a thorough understanding of its use. After completing six weeks of intense training, which includes physical training on the ground and in the water, many hours of instruction and testing, and rigorous physical challenges, the student is ready for the final test. For the final phase of training, the class is divided into small four to six man teams, as is done in the operating forces. The final training exercise begins with a warning order from hire. For the next 24 to 36 hours, the team focuses all efforts on the mission planning process as is done during operations. In the operating forces, combatant dive teams are interoperable with every entity within the MAGTAF. Each team must coordinate with supporting units to arrange for their tactical transportation into the operating area. Each team must maneuver through the area of operations by surface and subsurface means. Teams can spend many hours crossing distances of up to 25 nautical miles to simply arrive at their objective. They must continually assess the operating environment to prevent observation by anyone that could compromise the mission. Teams will complete actions on the objective in support of MAGTAF operations. The missions combatant divers conduct range within the scope of full spectrum operations. No matter what the mission objective is, combatant divers will increase the MAGTAF commander's understanding of the operational area by observing and communicating the on-ground reality of the situation. In operations where pre-assault reconnaissance is needed, the increased awareness achieved by the MAGTAF commander supports its planning process and facilitates decision making. Combatant divers also provide the commander with information about the hydrographic characteristics of a particular area, well in advance of amphibious landing force. This includes subsurface, detailed hydrographic surveys in support of all U.S. Navy landing craft and Marine Corps amphibious assault vehicles. During advanced force operations, teams precede the main body to an objective area and set the conditions to enable the main body to assault the objective. Combatant divers support advanced force operations by providing confirmatory beach reports, effects on the terrain and weather on friendly and enemy forces, military aspects of COCOA, 
the seizure of supporting positions through specialized limited scale raids, providing terminal guidance and battle damage assessment to offensive airstrikes, initial terminal guidance of AAVs, tactical boats, amphibious ships, landing craft, or aircraft. The combatant diver capability can be categorized as part of specialized insertion and extraction methods and is usually conducted using clandestine, surface and subsurface means to gain access to the operational environment. Combatant diver teams play a key role in helping Marine commanders gain access to a highly varied coastal terrain early in operation phases and provide direct informational links to the MAGTAF. When necessary, combatant divers conduct battle space shaping actions to support landing force access operations. Essentially, combatant divers help the commander increase his understanding of the operational environment, gain access to the operational area, and develop the situation to his advantage.